Are you one of the two people that play Kirby Battle Blitz? Do you want your FC in the game? Well, that sucks because I'm not adding them. Instead, I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. And if you still don't want to bother, you only have yourself to blame. Because if I do add them, they'll be getting what Stray got. With that said, let's get started. The first step is to join the KBB Discord and lurk for six months. And download the KBB character template from the pins in the mod channel, next to the mutant tutorials. The template has every feature we added to the rest of the characters. Oh my god, given the circumstances, I'll be using glitches files. Make sure you have Fire Factory 3 and an image program to separate the sprites. I'll be using a sprite, but paint.net also works. To start a character, most of you probably have one to add, but I don't, because I already announced Onyxon. So I guess I need a new character to add. We'll be using Bill for the sake of this tutorial. First you need to plan the moveset a bit, and I considered a simple 6 hit AB combo, as well as different bomb types that'll come up later. We start by adding the sprites. It's a pretty annoying process, but it's a necessary one. First, you double the size of your sprite sheet if you're using a curvy character. Next, you select a background color, but make sure it's not a color the character has. Separate all the sprites into their own separate image files and save them as PNGs in a folder to easily keep track of them. Now it's time to get them into Fighter Factory. Since I'm not using a template, I have to clear out any character sprites that I don't need. First go to the palette tab, it's that paint tab, third from the right on the top. Open one of your images and swap the background color with the first color on the palette selection below. You can understand this better in my palette video on Discord. Afterwards apply this palette to all the sprites you have saved and you'll be ready to import them into the sprite section. Make sure to save this palette as an act file and use it for any future sprites you add, that way the palette stay consistent. After this, just align all your sprites and you can move to the animation tab. This part's pretty simple. Just set the sprites where they need to go, lowering or raising the ticks per frame to speed up or slow down the animations. The first animations to add are the necessary ones like standing, crouching, walking, running, and earth poses. If you ever get confused with these animations, you could always open an official KBB character to see how we did it. After adding the sprites, add the hurt boxes so the characters can take damage properly. You could switch to the hurt boxes with the blue button on the bottom. Once you're done, you can... Once you're done, you can move on to your attacks. We'll be using the base A and B combo. The first step is to decide on the sequence you want and import all the sprites you'll need. Make sure to follow all the steps for importing sprites. Afterwards, go to the A and B animation sections to add the sprites there. If you need to add an animation, press the plus button on the right. We'll be doing that for the third A input. Next up, we'll be adding the hit boxes. The blue boxes are hurt boxes, and the red ones are hit boxes. You can switch them with the buttons on the bottom. After you add the hit boxes, it's time to code the moves in. Since Glitch is the template, his moves are already preset, so the process is mostly tweaking values in his hit depths. But we will need to add a new state for the third A input. To do so, copy and paste one of the A states and change the number of the state and animation to match the one you set up in the animation tab. In this case, it's 220. Now you'll mess with the moves values like damage and knockback until you get something you like. Make sure to playtest in between tweaks to get a good feel for the character. We'll be making Bill's attacks bounce on contact as well. To do that, we'll need a Bell set stay controller. You can select it on the right. Set the trigger as move contact equals 1, so the game activates the velocity on hit or block. Afterwards, tweak the X and Y coordinates to give us the bounce we want. After all this work, we can see Bill pull off a combo like this.
While this isn't much for an in-depth tutorial, I hope that it's enough to get people on their feet when it comes to modding KBB. A lot of the stuff we do hinges on uniqueness between the characters, so you'll need to figure out the basics if you want to do something more interesting. Fortunately, we have a Discord server where you can get in contact with us if you want to learn how to do something specific or guidance on certain issues you're having. So if you didn't get what you needed from this video, you could always check out a more in-depth Mugen tutorial on YouTube or join the Discord server and get in contact with us in the community to learn how to do more specific things. But the purpose of this video is to show how we do it and give you enough information to get on your feet. Once you're able to get started, it will be easier to get into the trickier part of things. And sooner or later, you'll be able to make something a lot more interesting. Until then, take care.